everyone is fine and doing great welcome back to my youtube channel vithulam academy which is an online learning platform myself bhavesh patel today in this video we will solve chapter number 13 introductions to graphs question number 16 to 20 of sof international mathematics olympiad it will help you to solve quickly increase your confidence level sharpness and smartness perform better in olympiads and other competitive exams so let's solve one by one the first sections achiever sections that is hots high order thinking skill question number 16 a graph shows the temperature forecast and the actual temperature of a city for 10 days so here is an on x axis it is number of days and this is the temperature in degree celsius actual is this this line and prediction is a dotted one actual is full line so question is on what day the graph shows the maximum deviation on actual temperature from the forecast so we have to find out the maximum deviations maximum deviation means we have to find out the distance between these two here it is somewhere around 1 1 degree celsius in a next day it is also somewhere around 1 somewhere on one this is also one but if you see here the tenth day tenth day it is 39 was the prediction and the actual was 36 so 3 degree celsius deviation therefore if you see the distance here it is 38 and this is 36 so to 2 degree correct right? therefore the answer is day 10 next the graph shows the production of cycle in thousands of two factories a and b so this is for a and this is for b for 10 years so x axis it is years here there is a productions find the production of cycles of a in the year when combined production of cycles was maximum that means we have to first find out the summation of both the company's total productions so in the first year it is 42000 and 37 so 42 plus 37 that is 79 let's say this is the highest so far second year productions a that is 48 and this is somewhere around 35 so 48 plus 35 83 now this is the highest forget about this third year that is 40 and this is somewhere around 47 so 40 and 47 so it is 87 forget about 83 then fourth year that is this same as previous one fourth year it is 48 oh we have to take this now this is fifth year this is fourth year fourth year is too low see this is low this is low so it won't be possible more than 87 it won't be so let's go for fifth year 48 and this that is 30 how much 38 so it is 86 still lower than 87 then let's go for 6 this is too low so forget about that if you add up it won't be more than 86 even then go for 7th year 7th year this is 44 and this is 40 So it is eighty four, lower than eighty seven. Here, eight year, it is lower. So forget about that. Ninth year, let's check. That is ninth year is forty five, and this is how much? Four zero. No, four zero is quite less. So forty one. So once again eighty six, lower than eighty seven. Let's go for tenth year. This is forty. 
and this is somewhere around 38 so 38 so it is 86 still lower than this so highest production is 87 which is in the year which year first second and third year correct third year means 47 and 40 so in that what what is the questions find the production of cycles of a in the year when the combined production of cycle was maximum so third year is a maximum and during that how much a has produced so this is a so it is 47 and unit is 1000 so 47000 so answer is a next the following graph shows the number of pages read by asok in a week so monday to saturday days and number of pages on y axis find the ratio of the number of pages read on tuesday and wednesday together to the total number of pages read so that that means we have to first find out the how much how many pages read on wednesday so wednesday it is 14 uh, and tuesday tuesday it is 18 so total pages read on tuesday and wednesday is 18 plus 14 that is 32 32 pages read on tuesday and wednesday and we have to take a ratio by total number of pages read so on monday it is 14 on thursday it is 16 on uh, Friday it is 20 here it is 12 here it is 18 so let's add up 14 plus 16 14 plus 16 30 30 plus 30 60 60 plus 20 80 98 98 and 112 therefore ratio is 32 by total 112 so 16 twos are and 5 6 8 twos are 16 and here it is 28 now 4 so 4 twos are 8 and 7 therefore 2 is to 7 both are non prime both are prime numbers the hcf is 1 only so it's in the simplest form so 2 is to 7 answer is a next the following graph shows the number of shirts that man sold over 7 days so days on x axis and number of shirts sold in hundreds on y axis on an average how many shirts he sells every day so we have to total it and then by 7 average means number of days that is 7 so let's total it 3 4 3 2 2 6 8 correct let's total so 4 plus 3 7 plus 3 10 plus 2 12 plus 2 14 plus 6 20 20 plus 8 28 and it is 100 so 2800 is the total certs have been sold by that person and in 7 days so divided by 7 therefore it is 400 certs per day so answer is c next study the graph and answer the questions that follows so graph is days and minimum temperature in degree celsius or maybe degree fahrenheit unit is not given here it is celsius so obviously this unit will be in celsius fine so on which day was the temperature 31 degree celsius so 31 degree celsius means here let's draw a horizontal line so this day that is saturday so saturday option a this is not the this is not the this is not there so answer is a no need to go for second and third b and c if you want to cross check let's check 
on which day was the temperature the least so that is this that is on sunday which was the hottest day so this that is on friday correct so answer is a so that's all about the solutions of question number 16 to 20 introductions to graphs chapter number 13 of sof international mathematics olympiad once again myself avish patel from vithalam academy for any query doubt suggestions you can reach us via mail our mail id is vithalam academy at the rate gmail.com that is v i w t h a l m a c a d a m y at the rate gmail.com so thank you and wish you all the best